was lucky. Australia. That's the cool wheel. As I said, Australia. Andrew. Welcome back guys. Welcome subscribers, unsubscribers, potential subscribers, stalkers, trolls, whatever. Um, thank you for coming from around the world to watch this exclusive unboxing of the own... <laughs> Not the owner, so I'm getting so confused on the electric cables I've got. This is the Cool Wheel uh, D3M version 3, the current Cool Wheel. So I suppose quickly, why did I get another Cool Wheel? Well, pretty simple. They're just such a great value for money electric skateboard. And um, two of these cost $500 US less than a booster board and a Evolve Bamboo and a Action Quattro and a Mellow board. It goes on and on and on. Right, without any further ado, let's unbox it. That comes in this box, as you can see. Nothing in there. Throw that. This is the cooler box. There it is. This is it. With my trusty razor. Okay. What I'm going to do is just cut the plastic here and there. Okay. This is not like a premiere review. These things have been out of the while, so I can't really hype this up too much, but I'm trying to make it as exciting for the new potential cool wheel buyers as possible. I'll go through the improvements with this thing, and uh, there we go. It comes with, now if I get that in camera shot, I think I can, uh, a nice cardboard cover, which can go there there it is now as you can see guys I've got myself this is so weird okay got myself the white wheels I went for the white wheels because I think it's something a little bit subtle a little bit cool a little bit funky something different um, I might just go through a few things before I show you the actual packaging of the unboxing and there, there it is there not to decapitate myself um, okay the few the major increases and differences with the new cool wheel are one battery we now have a bigger battery in these. What I mean we, I mean, well, I've already got one, but we as in you too, you'll have one as well, hopefully. Bigger battery, 198 watt hour, opposed to 154 watt hour. Very cleverly done by Cool Wheel because the FSA, which is the regulators for batteries on board planes, you can carry a battery on board up to 200 watt hours in cabin carry on and actually two batteries. So if you're traveling, you take two of these batteries, buy another one for like $140 and shipping is whatever. And then you can travel the world and have like six, 60 kilometer range in each city. Battery increase will give you a bit more power. At the low end, it'll also help with hill climbs under 50%. This is a vast improvement. I'll go through my A, B and C uh, test, which is the A distance, B hill climbs and C um, uh, sprint and, and, and speed test. So you'll see the differences, that, if any, between these two cool wheel version three and two. Um, number two, it has a um, what they call potting. Now potting is rubberized um, membrane poured into all the circuitry. As I know, nobody in the skateboard world manufactured design are doing this. This is the first of its kind in the world and that could be a good and a bad thing so we're going to find out whether it works. The idea is it fills up all the circuitry with a rubberized finish. It's 100% waterproof, 100% watertight. It stops the cracking, splitting of the solder joints, the wiring. It becomes solidified in this complete membrane. If you look at a capacitor, like at a capacitor and you turn upside down, you've got that sort of membrane in that. That's a membrane kind of in there all rubberized, that's what we're talking about. That is putting on this for the first time in any of the Cool Wheel products. So it's a circuitry potting. Thirdly, it has a, um, I'm 100% sure it has slightly more powerful motors. I've got to get that verified by Cool Wheel, but I think these are 250 watt, um, watt each motors on the original Cool Wheel 1 prototype beta to the second version of my one which I reviewed which is excellent. This has got I think 350 watt motors. I think it has been increased. I'll get back to you on that. Um, uh, that's the third point. And the fourth point, they've got a much more sophisticated um, uh, calibration of the remote, a better Bluetooth uh, connectivity. Quite frankly, my Bluetooth has never missed a beat. Going down hills in the city, into pedestrian and cars, I could have killed myself and the brake has worked every time. It's never missed, so I can't see a problem with that. So this, if it's better again, it can only be better. Um, other than that, it's pretty much the same skateboard. Same design, same look, same everything. Um, now, what I'm gonna do, Cool Wheel won't like this, but I'm gonna do it. I'm just going to, um, I'm gonna change 
my deck a little bit on this, okay? The reason I say that, I want to customize this deck for me, and I'll take you through a whole vlog how I'm going to do that, okay? Um, yes, the cool wheel will be on the bottom, but it won't be on the top. And not that I'm, I'm embarrassed by the cool wheel, the cool wheel symbol is becoming now, look, I'll just quickly digress. The Lexus symbol, when it came in, those of you are far too young to remember, but when I was old enough, the Lexus symbol came in as a circle with an L, and my God, I thought, this not, it's just a Toyota, it's not going to sell prestige cars, it's not going to compete with Mercedes and Audis and BMWs, but 30 years on, the Lexus symbol has become one, one of the greatest luxury vehicles um, uh, and, and you know that's I think what Cool Wheel is doing. When I first started running Cool Wheel, people thought it was a Chinese toy. Now I work, I write Cool Wheel. People are asking. There's a lot of people talking about it. It's a sophisticated, well-made unit. Where are your iPhones made? Where are your um, Samsung Galaxies S8s? Where are they made? They're assembled and made in China. These people are the best in the world at assembling and soldering and doing their job as they for all the appliances of the world. That's where these things are made. I'm sorry, other companies, I won't name them, but in Australia, California, all different places where they make and assemble them in their own local cities, uh -uh. I don't think you can compete with the technology of 3,000 dedicated, specialized assembly workers that make these things, like your iPhone, like your Samsung. So anyway, I just got a bit sidetracked there, but um, I'm not embarrassed by the cool, I just think I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a customized deck, something that's really, really, funky and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. So that'll be, I've got some clear grip tape and I've got some sandpaper, I've got some you know, unique stickers and what I want to do. Uh, it's still a cool wheel and it still will be a cool wheel and upside down as there's any coffee shop you'll still see the name. So cool wheel guys out there, thank you. I'm not uh, just changing it up a bit and doing a bit of a, a, bit of a, a change on this in a, to make it a bit more interesting. Okay, so I'll take you now into the box and let's have a look what's inside the new cool wheel version three. Okay, welcome back. Um, this is the box open. Of course, you've got the standard no riding on wet floor, always wear helmets. Well, I don't know about that, but I would certainly... I would certainly throw that away. Riding on wet floor is awesome. But that, wearing a helmet, damn important. Helmets, pads, guys. That's the, that's the thumbnail. No, it's not. Okay, instruction booklet. Um, as normal, hasn't changed a bit. You'll notice, guys, I got something a little bit extra here. It wasn't a bonus, because I'm a great Cool Wheel ambassador, but um, it's just something I've paid extra for, white extra wheels for the uh, front wheels. And the other wheel is here. Look, I don't think you're gonna wear through that in well, my lifetime, possibly, but who knows? I mean, it depends. Um, so this is the board. Uh, in the, in, I've gone for white wheels this time, as I said before. I think it's a much, um, I think it's a really nice look. I mean, white wheels, white are the new orange. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, so white's the new orange. Um, and if you do run out of um, wheels on the orange, I'll just replace them with the white. So they'll have white in the front and orange in the back or whatever. Um, so there we go. There's the, there's the board. And that's the actual underneath of it. Same standard rudimentary sticker for warning. Yeah, the white looks good. They're going to get dirty really quickly, but uh, that's that's the actual skateboard. I'll put that just there. Uh, okay, the padding is, for those who haven't actually ordered a cooler before or even looked at the box, it's high density foam, really well packed. Um, this is one of the best packaging of any electric skateboard I've seen on the, on the market. So uh, yeah, it's just, you'll never have damaged stock. Um, this is, uh, this is, hmm, not sure about canteens or Mandarin, but I think that means Andrew Penman is annoying. I don't know, um, only kidding. A big throw out hello there to uh, Duan Technology, Shenzhen Duan, and Leo, Miss Leo Liang. She is awesome to deal with. Um, she's my go-to consultant for these cool wheels, and I recommend thoroughly calling her. I get nothing out of this, like I said, no affiliation, no commissions, no freebies, nothing. I even paid for all these, so. This is just something I works for me, should work for you. There's the charger. You can tell the cool wheel charger, guys, it has this curved thing like a sort of a, a skateboard thing on it. I hope I'm in picture. I can't really see it so high up. And there's the charger. Unfortunately, they didn't have my Aussie plug. So what they've given me is the standard, obviously, Chinese plug. 
and then they've given me a, oh yeah, there we go, a little adapter, which I kind of like because that means this is the charger for the new cool wheel, and my other one with the Aussie plug is a charger for the original cool wheel, so that's just a freebie there. Um, in here, I would say, is the remote. I'm pretty damn sure it is, and they haven't changed their shape, have they, design? Yeah, it's exactly the same. Look, they even put the wire around to protect the button. Isn't that clever? They're so, every little thing is thought of. There you go. Yep, full remote springing beautifully. Um, so look guys, that is the unboxing of the Cool Wheel. Oh, I'll get it in picture. In, there you go, the new Cool Wheel. Um, like I said, I'm gonna go through everything with you guys in terms of the differences, and I'm also gonna change the deck a little bit and do some pretty funky uh, personalization to the deck. Uh, but look guys, that wraps up today's quick little vlog on the unboxing of the D3M version three Cool Wheel electric skateboard with its brand new battery. Yep, 198 watt, that's it. And also its new vest controller potting, which I might show you later. Bigger, slightly bigger wheels, power motor wise, 350 and 100%. And the new integrated, uh, you know, high calibrated um, re, connectivity, Bluetoothy thingy, thingy, uh, improve on the remote. But like I said, no problems with my remote. Well guys, thanks for following me again. Thanks for watching. Cool piece, safe skating and good skating. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next vlog when I start doing this. Catch up with the cool wheel, but more importantly, Onan, hill climbs and uh, speed test coming up. Thanks guys, thank you so much. Talk to you soon.